Thank you. Now to an update to breaking news. Investigators are tying four murder suspects to multiple crime scenes across the metro. A man and three juveniles are accused of a deadly shooting at a motel on the southeast side last week. News 9 crime tracker Jennifer Pierce at police headquarters with a timeline of their violent crime spree. Jen. Well, Sylvia, we are talking four crime scenes in just two days. Now, the motive behind the murder is still unknown, but according to court documents, the victim was set up and am ambushed inside the motel room. The crime spree started last Tuesday at a home in northwest Oklahoma City. Neighbors watched a chaotic scene unfold. They fight all the time. Police say 22 year old Alexander Farrell was involved in a fight with a roommate and stabbed the man in the neck. The victim told police he believed Farrell was trying to kill him and feared retaliation. The next day, police were called to investigate a deadly shooting at the Executive Inn near Southeast Grand and I-35. Officers received a call that there was gunfire here in the area. The victim was found there on scene and then transported to the, to the hospital. According to court documents, Farrell drove two juveniles to the motel to meet up with a female suspect. Police say the teenage girl got a room with the victim. Farrell and two teenage males forced their way into the room where the victim was shot. The four suspects got in the car with Farrell driving. The suspects fled the scene, so again, we don't have anybody in custody. An arrest affidavit stated four hours after the deadly shooting, three of the suspects were involved in an armed carjacking on the Northwest Expressway. <laughs> Officers found the stolen car in southwest Oklahoma City when a pursuit started. The car crashed in Mustang and the female suspect was taken into custody. The juvenile driver fled on foot and was not found. Farrell was arrested the day after the murder at the motel. He admitted to being at the stabbing scene, but did not admit to stabbing his roommate. Farrell was booked into the Oklahoma County Detention Center and police say two of the juvenile suspects have not yet been arrested. Live at police headquarters, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9. All right, thanks, Jen.